Baltimore Children and Youth Fund is helping support kids across Baltimore. Yes, and we are grateful to be joined this morning. We have board chair Larry Simmons here, and then we also have Zion Davis and Kane Johnson. Thank you so much for being here. Thank, thank you. Having thank you. Thank you for having us. So we're excited to talk about, you know, ways that you guys are helping Baltimore's youth. But to start off, what do you guys think is the biggest challenge facing uh, youth in our city? Uh, well, we believe that um, access to programs and resources um, that are directly um, access to resources that are really directly supporting the young people in their communities, right? The things that young people are really asking for. Um, opportunities for leadership, opportunities to kind of expand in their own entrepreneurial ways. Um, so we're really trying to support those organizations that are really um, youth-centered, that are black-led, black and brown-led, and that really are um, taking what our young people are asking for and really moving with that. And tell us how the Baltimore Children and Youth Fund does that, supporting these organizations and supporting kids in Baltimore. So we're different from many, um, many of our colleagues in the philanthropic space. We are um, working directly with community folks to grant um, direct funding to organizations through city dollars, right? We're using city tax dollars um, to support those organizations and programs who I just kind of mentioned earlier, who are doing that direct service, that direct work, and who are really working in partnership with young people. And you mentioned the community. How can the community help? How can residents support you? Uh, right now, um, if you kind of look out for um, September 14th, we really will have a, a larger community kind of information session where folks can learn how they can support the organizations that we, we, sh we work with, but also how they could also become a board member or also volunteer and mentor as well. And what about um, this concept of community law in action? Can you talk about that? Yes, so CLIA is um, community law in action where youth are learning to um, advocate for themselves. So what we do is we um, take the youth and we um, build leadership skills in them, teaching them how to be able to have more uh, policy, pu public policy knowledge um, and allowing them to be able to learn how to advocate for themselves within their community. So they're teaching their peers and being able to speak up for themselves in regards to different, different programs in Baltimore City. And where can people go to find more information or if they're an organization maybe looking for funding? Yes, so cleayouth.org is um, for us. But. And then also with uh, BCY, BCY Fund. Mm -hmm. Um, at Instagram and bcyfund.org on the uh, internet. So how have you, can you say how this programs, these programs have been helpful to you? All right, so uh, CLIA has been helpful to me because it allows me to advocate for my peers and for myself. Also, it helps me build confidence within myself and um, you know, allow other people to build confidence. Um, it's, uh, CLIA has been it was, it's been very good to me. I, I learned a lot from it, just me being more of a leader and representing CLIA. You know, if somebody asks me, like, what, what is CLIA, what, is, what does it mean? I just tell them, like, basically, like, you just advocate for my peers or for the, com uh, for the community. Thanks, Zion. Sounds like you might be getting some <laughs> young politicians and yeah. council yes, people. Totally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the plan. Yeah. Yes. I mean, that's a, so. that's a big part of the work that, you know, BCYF is doing and really trying to support those organizations that are allowing young people to build their, um, their leadership muscle, right? Absolutely. To really um, uh, partner with adults in their own success and really create those opportunities that, that young people are really asking for. So like I'm a, I'm a partner with CLIA. I have um, Namaste with Nay LLC. So it's a, mm -hmm. um, a yoga program. So what I do is I work with them in silent yoga or mindfulness and meditation um, weekly with the kids to be able to help them in order to be able to advocate for the peers, they have to deal with self-awareness. So. I team with CLIA weekly um, to build the youth and just helping them learning the inter inside in order to be able to speak for the peers on the outside. So um, Namaste is like the, the uh, yoga program. So like when I'm overthinking or like when I'm just in a, a bad mindset, I just do yoga and just be peaceful. Oh. And it just what a good answer. <laughs> we need to do that here on WJT9. Yeah. Yes. Thank you.